Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Uh, I have uh, bought a power supply that is adjustable from basically 0.24 volts up to about 28 volts with a maximum of 20 amps. This is a Chinese power supply, it's not a mean well, but hey, it's highly adjustable and it can supposedly do 20 amps, which my clamp-on meter says is the case, so uh, we'll call it good enough. Alright, so I have my clamp-on amp meter set to DC amps. It is on the positive wire, and this is the XHP 70.2, and this is the Chinese XHP 160. So right now at 6.08 volts, I'm showing 4.4 amps and 1961 lux. Um, being that I have an integrating sphere, I can't actually show you lumens, and this doesn't do lumens anyway. It does foot candles or lux. So you'd have to do the conversion. So anyway, last time I did this, uh, 6 volts, I saw a little bit less uh, voltage, a little less uh, amps, rather, and voltage, because I was right at 6 volts. And as a result, the amps were a little bit lower. They were at 3.2 amps, and I was reading 1946 lux. So a little bit more amp draw, but I'm also getting a little bit more light out of it. You know, 1960 lux rather than 1946. Ah, turned off, and back on again. Okay, so anyway, um, there is the XHP 70.2. Now, because of limitations of the power supply, basically 20 amps, I can only turn the voltage up so high um, before it maxes out. And so I'm going to do what the best is I can get out of the XHP 160, which is 6.9 volts. So I'm going to turn this thing up. Oop, went past it just a skosh. Let's get back down a little bit. Come on. Yeah, the the pot in here is poor. There we go. 6.91 volts. That's close enough. Okay, now you're seeing 23.34 lumens, or lux rather. Last time I did this, I said 24.31, and I'm seeing 12 amps. And the last time I said 11.3 amps. So slight variations on the themes as the LEDs warm up. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's the bright spot on the ceiling. So... Uh, lumens went down a little bit from my last test, you know, 2320 versus 2431. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this back down again. There we go. Set the camera down for a second. And unplug from the XHP 70.2 and plug into the XHP 160. Okay, so 4.5 volts. See the LEDs dimming really, or glowing very dimly. All right, so let's turn this thing up to six volts. Yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> Would kind of like to get right at that 6.08 that I had before, but it doesn't it doesn't like doing it. You adjust the pot a lot, and then all of a sudden it changes. Grr. Come on, get me right at that 6.08 that I had in there before. Jeez. I'm about to call it even. There we go. Hey, got it. Okay, so we're showing 2040, 2041 lumens and 8.9 amps, which is essentially double the amperage and um, pretty darn close to the exact same amount of light. Uh, what did I say? Uh, 19, well, 1946 was uh, what I wrote down from... A previous test, a little bit less amps, and as you can see, she's smoking. <clears throat> All right, and now we're at nine amps. Okay, so um, I'm going to adjust this up to 6.9 volts, which is going to max out the power supply. It's getting brighter, pretty darn close. A little bit more. Come on, let me have it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I've maxed out the power supply, so I can't even get to 6.9 volts, 6.84 volts. And we're looking at 23, 2400, yeah, 2300 lux, rather. And so that's a little bit less, and at 20 amps. And smoking like crazy. Bright spot on the ceiling. I mean, look at that thing smoke. <laughs> that's the XHP 160 doing that. How long is it going to take before that completely fogs up the uh, glass? or your culminating lens, you know, that's in front of that silly thing. It's just going to completely fog it up in no time at all. So 20.6 amps, and we're seeing about 2,200 lumens. So um, once again, 
almost double the amp draw for almost exactly the same amount of light production. And then, of course, it smokes. Uh, yeah, it, in a flashlight, let me turn this thing down and I'll keep talking. Just want to get that thing smoking less. There we go, close enough. Look at that, it's still smoking like crazy. And it'll do that for a minute here as it starts to cool off a little bit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> same amount of light production, four elements versus 16 elements, and doing it on almost half the amp draw. Voltages are the same, but the amount of current is almost double. Or not almost, it's more than double. Yeah, so um, what I wrote down was uh, 3.2 amps uh, for the XHP 70.2 and 7.6 amps for the XHP160. That's more than double the current draw than this guy for the same amount of light. Okay, from a perspective of something that's battery powered like a flashlight, that means this is going to run twice as long at full brightness, you know, at 6 volts, since they're both 6 volt LEDs, than this thing will. Because it takes half the amount of amps to run that Cree LED than it does to run the XHP160. I, I, I'm just going to throw it out there that the Chinese LED is crap. I mean, it's literally half as good to produce the same amount of light, double the current. Yeah, tw it, it literally takes way more power <laughs> to make the same amount of light from the Chinese LED than it does from the Cree. There's the test. I, I, I can't show it to any other way. You know, the proof's in the pudding. You saw the light meter. It never moved. You saw the two LEDs. You saw the amps. You saw the voltages. Proofs in the pudding. The Cree LED destroyed the XHP160. Well, I guess that's it for this video. It's Debadri saying, hey folks, hopefully you're all getting away from that stupid SARS virus. Hopefully the uh, vaccine isn't causing any trouble. Certainly don't want that to be worse than the damn uh, pandemic and COVID-19 and all that nonsense. Well, take care, be good, be nice to each other. Bye.